Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Before starting the video, if you have not subscribed our channel till now, then please subscribe it. And if you have not watched our previous videos, then watch it. In this video, we will see the life cycle of spring bean and bean post processor with an example. Let's first see the life cycle of spring bean. The life cycle of the bean is easy to understand when a bean is instantiated. It may be required to perform some initialization to get it into a usable state. Similarly when the bean is no longer required and is removed from the container, some cleanup may be required. You can use init method and destroy method as an attribute in bean configuration file for the bean to perform certain actions upon initialization and destruction. Initialization Initializing bean interface contains one single method called after properties set. Destruction Disposable bean interface contains one simple method called destroy. Let's implement. Create a separate project to see the demo for life cycle. Need to create init and destroy method under greeting class. Method creation is done. As you can see there are two types of suggestion are coming under bean like and eat method and destroy method. Pass those method name from which you want to perform initialization and destruction. Let's run and see it's working or not. See initialize bean messages coming but destroy method message is not coming. So for that need to add something extra. So for that, we need to change application context to abstract application context. Because this class contains one method called register shutdown hook, so this method helps to destroy the bean. See it's working before destroying its internally calling do close method. Instead of calling an it and destroy method for each and every bean you can keep at beans tag level also so that will apply for all bean. Let's comment this. As you can see one is for default init method and other is for default destroy method. See how simple is it. Let's run again. See it's working. Let's see spring bean post processors. Bean Post Processor provides a way to perform some operations before creating a spring bean and immediately after creating spring bean. So you can add some logic before and after creating a bean. Follow steps to implement spring bean post processor. Implements bean post processor in processor class. Override methods provided by bean post processor and add some logic whatever you want in post process before initialization and post process after initialization. Create a bean for the class who implement bean post processor in the XML file. Let's implement. First create a processor class. As I said earlier this class must implement bean post processor. Now it's asking for override methods post process before initialization and post process after initialization.
this time we are just putting some message but in real time scenario it will keep some proper logic. That's it for this class. Now let's see how to create an object of processor class using Bean. Object creation is done, that's it let's run again. See before and after process initialization method is calling. As you can see everything is so simple, I hope this helps you to remember this. I hope you like this video then please subscribe our channel.